regardless of where they are in our country. Questions and comments? Uh, the Honourable Member for Skeena Buckleyvar. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, so many people in northwest British Columbia continue to struggle with the loss of their income as a result of this pandemic. This includes people working in retail, people working in tourism, people working in hospitality. This government's original plan for the transition from CERB to EI included an unexplained reduction in benefits of $400 per month. Will the Prime Minister uh, please confirm that he has now accepted the NDP's demand that there be no reduction in benefits in the transition from the CERB program? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm, uh, Madam Speaker, I'm pleased to be able to highlight uh, that we recognize the challenges faced by Canadians right across the country. From the very beginning, with the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, we were there to support Canadians. And despite the fact that the Conservatives continue to insist that we shouldn't have been so quick with the CERB, we shouldn't have been so quick to help Canadians, we should have focused on businesses first instead, we know that supporting workers and families across this country was the right thing to do. And we all want to imagine a country in which our economy will be running again at full steam without this pandemic. But we're not there yet. We still have far too many people who are out of work, far too many people who would love to be finding a job or love to be working who simply cannot. That's why we are transitioning the CERB into a robust EI system that will continue to offer $500 a week to people who are looking for work who can't find work, people who need that support because they simply have to be home to support their families during this difficult time, and for the people who haven't been able to access EI or can't access EI, we're creating a Canada response benefit that will, recovery benefit, that will support them with that $500 a month, because that's the support that all Canadians deserve.